our planet is becoming increasingly crowded, as illustrated by these megacities. After the global population hit 8 billion on November 15, 2022, various predictions have been made about when the number of people on Earth will peak. Studies vary, with some suggesting that the world population will peak at 8.8 .8 billion people by the middle of this century before it starts to decline. Other predictions, such as those made by the United Nations, estimate that the world's population could hit more than 10 billion by the 2080s. In any case, the substantial increase in population has led to significant congestion in several of the world's largest cities, giving rise to major concerns regarding pollution and overcrowding. Here are the 10 most populated cities on Earth and what it is like to live in them. Osaka, Japan Kaihanshin Metropolitan Area, which includes Japan's third-largest city Osaka, is home to some 19.2 million people. Historically important as a center of commerce and industry, the city is still a financial hub home to many large Japanese companies. Osaka is famed for its food culture and modern architecture, making this popular with tourists. And thanks to a half-decent public transport system, the city's metro manages to carry over 900 million people a year. Beijing, China 19.4 million people. China's second largest city is one of the oldest cities in the world and is also home to most of the country's biggest businesses. This has led to huge population growth in the last 50 years and increasing wealth amongst many of its residents. In fact, Beijing now has the most number of billionaires in the world. However, it's not all good news. Thanks to a combination of industrial pollution, frequent sandstorms and car emissions, Many residents in Beijing are often told to stay indoors to avoid the potential health hazards. Mumbai, India, 20.1 million people. Mumbai is built on seven islands and is an historic city that is full of culture and art. It is also home to the Indian film industry, Bollywood, known around the world for its vibrant movies and musical numbers. Most importantly, it is the commercial and financial capital of India. Most of the largest companies in India are based in Mumbai, which has led to a huge influx of people from rural areas wanting to live there. Dhaka, Bangladesh, 20.2 million people. The capital city of Bangladesh is growing at a fast rate, which is fueled in part by a thriving publishing industry. This has led to vast high-rise apartments and offices sprouting up all over this sprawling metropolis. This historic city is the center of Bengali culture, hosting countless art festivals and religious events throughout the year. It is also home to the government of Bangladesh, as well as historic buildings such as the Nimtali Palace and the Laubak Fort. Cairo, Egypt, 20.4 million people. In addition to its historically significant architecture, Cairo is probably best known as the home of one of the ancient wonders of the world, the ancient Egyptian Giza Pyramid Complex. It is also home to 11% of the population of Egypt. There are plans in place to build two monorail systems to serve the city, which will help to ease the significant traffic issues that the city currently experiences. Frequent dust storms and the desert climate might sound like a deterrent, but this doesn't stop people wanting to visit. Mexico City, Mexico, 21.6 million people. Mexico City sits high on the plateau known as the Valley of Mexico, 2,240 meters above sea level, and is the oldest capital city in the Americas. The growth of this metropolis is remarkable. In 1900, its population stood at a mere 500,000 people. But due to large numbers of people from rural areas coming to the city looking for work, this ballooned to 9 million by the 1970s. Because of a lack of housing, this influx led to large numbers of people setting up illegal shanty towns around the city. Mexico City is now a center of business and also a popular tourist attraction, full of museums and places to eat. Amazingly, if Mexico City were an independent country, it would be the fifth largest economy in South America. Sao Paulo, Brazil, 21.8 million people. It is a bit of a cliché, but Sao Paulo is a city of huge contrast. A place where extreme poverty meets great wealth, 
with the biggest skyscrapers of the financial district towering over the slums of the city, known as the favelas. Water supply issues are a problem in Sao Paulo, with few natural sources of drinking water in the city. The haphazard nature of the layout of the city and its buildings doesn't help. However, crime has been falling and air quality has been steadily improving in recent years, making it a nicer place to live for all of its 22 million residents. Shanghai, China, 26.3 million people. Many, many years ago, Shanghai used to be a small fishing village. But thanks to its location by the southern estuary of the Yangtze River, it has since grown to be the biggest city in China and one of the largest in the world. It is also home to the Nanjing Road Shopping District, a mix of modern malls and traditional Chinese stores and food outlets. Its 5.5-kilometer streets rank alongside Oxford Street in London and the Champs-Élysées in Paris as one of the busiest commercial areas in the world, with 1 million people shopping there every day. Delhi, India, 29.3 million people. The national capital territory of Delhi, NCT, encompasses the city of New Delhi, the nation's capital, as well as several other regional states. The city itself has been in existence for over 2,000 years, which brings its own set of problems. Infrastructure is outdated, although there have been many recent road-building projects that have helped to ease traffic. Pollution from roads and industry is also a big problem in Delhi, as is the standard of housing. It is estimated that 50% of the population live in substandard accommodation. Tokyo, Japan, is the largest city on Earth, with a population of 37.4 million people, which is over four times the population of New York City, USA. In total, the Japanese metropolis covers an area of 13,452 square kilometers. There are 2,642 people in each km on average in the whole of the greater Tokyo area. This high density obviously presents problems for its residents in terms of living space and travel. As to be expected, housing shortages are widespread. Because of this, tiny apartments that measure only 9 square meters are becoming increasingly popular amongst younger residents as they try to locate themselves near the center of the city for work. Getting around the city is very problematic too. The roads are often completely packed in and around the city. Public transport is also often overcrowded and expensive, although it is almost always on schedule.